Fellows, AC here. Welcome to another review. Uh, <laughs> thanks for your great wishes, you know. And I'm already on, on the mend, although my cold is still there. Uh, it's a bit heavy around my chest and my back pain is still there. But, you know, I'm, I'm fighting on and I'll, I'll get well soon. So thanks for your beautiful wishes because they mean a lot. So, brother, long, low. Now, this fragrance has been part of many of my countdowns. I think very highly of this fragrance. And it is also one of my major compliment magnets. So here's the bottle. And there are four of these, I understand, four or five. Each one has a different color. I own two of these, Prada Lom Intense. This is by far one of the most amazingly made masculine fragrances which which is just amazing i love this fragrance and i love this one slightly more and i'm going to tell you why but you know the bottle itself tells you you're holding something amazing prada is this italian house this, this, that is world famous for producing amazing soapy scents right they've mastered the art of soapy fragrances this one is no different i've also reviewed prada amber which is another beautiful soapy scent. But this one, <coughs> excuse me, is really a fantastic fragrance. Wow, man. The moment you spray it, you, you already realize from the very first sniff that this is a very high quality, almost niche-like fragrance, you know? The quality speaks for itself. Now, yesterday I reviewed this one. This is again in the same family. It's a soapy iris woody ambery scent diorom o now there are differences which i'll go through and the scent itself is very different i particularly like fragrances which are transparent airy and yet last a long time for summer this one is exactly that so how does it start off now this has got a note which i've smelled before but implemented differently ginger so it's ginger and neroli I've done a lot of Nerodi fragrance reviews. This one has got this soapy floral aspect. It's quite soapy. And as you know, Prada does soapy fragrances. So it's a beautiful powdery ginger. And it is powdery. Very dry, transparent, airy and ginger. Ginger has many facets. It has got a warm, refreshing, robust facet. This one is not warm. This one is aromatic and spicy, um, fresh, like you would get from nutmeg. But it doesn't smell like nutmeg, but the nature. It's zesty. Soapy, floral, neroli, and slight powdery. These are the three notes I get initially. The fragrance is a very long fragrance. In the middle, uh, the fragrance brings in beautiful iris. Iris here is not like Diorom's iris. It's more like a vibrant green floral almost radiant the fragrance starts to become radiant it's really really nice and neroli goes up a bit after about two or three hours neroli comes down ginger comes up a bit and joins the party is this beautiful warm amber so fragrance becomes a little bit warm and then towards the end there is neroli and sandalwood this kind of sandalwood which is synthetic spongy slightly hazy so from sharp airy transparent it becomes a hazy woody scent like the dry down of this one they're not similar but the nature of the dry down of the Orum O why I liked it was that ambery woody hazy smell this has got that same thing but different bit of different smell very radiant iris um, beautiful sandalwood mellowed down amber and neroli. Neroli is in the background. So that's like two or three different variations if you like. But very subtle. It's not a very complex fragrance but you will, once you wear it a lot, you will get an idea of how this fragrance develops. So that's the whole journey. Now the upsides and downsides. The upside is this is one of those summer fragrances which projects a lot, lasts a long time and it's a joy to wear. It's a very beautifully made fragrance. Soapy fragrances may sound all the same, but this is very different, very different. And number two is this 
beautiful elegance about this fragrance. It's languid elegance, lazy elegance. I wouldn't say lazy, but it's beautifully made elegant fragrance. You wear a nice shirt and spray this on, automatically you are in this zone where people will look at you and think, yeah, this man has got taste. It smells beautiful. Number three upside is the composition quality. As I said when I sprayed this, the moment you smell this, you will know that you're smelling a very high quality fragrance. So you're going to an occasion where you want to project an image, you're wearing great clothes and you want to supplement it with a high quality fragrance, summer fragrance. Prada Lom Lo will not let you down guys. It's beautiful. And number four is, this is one of those summer fragrances which is beastly in terms of performance. If you go more than four sprays on your shirt, you will fill up an entire room. And not that you would offend anybody, but I'm just saying, it will fill up the room. It's a beautiful, beastly performer. Beautiful beast. Let's call it that way. Beastly performance. Now the downsides. Now a lot of people say, you know, how many of these fragrances can I have in my collection? They are all subtly different. Neroli fragrances, Neroli and Woody fragrances, they're dime a dozen, but they're all different. And I'm particularly reviewing them that I have uh, got in my collection after a lot of choice. I've made a lot of sampling, I've done a lot of sampling and then made a decision. But that question will come in your mind. So do sample it out. I forgot to mention that another upside, the fifth upside of this fragrance is the huge compliment factor. Because it lasts and projects a lot and because it smells so expensive and so well made, this is a serious compliment magnet, at least for me, serious compliment magnet. Yeah, especially women. Women love this fragrance because it's so dry, airy, it doesn't suffocate them and it smells clean and beautiful, very elegant. You are bound to get a compliment for sure. So those are the five upsides. One downside, a lot of fragrances are there like this, but this smells unique to my nose. I find this unique. Any other downsides? Well, it could be a personal preference where you don't like iris fragrances, for example. So I suggest you try this out. But that's the only downside I can think of. Age groups, any age group. This is an age-less kind of fragrance, just like the Aroma O. Anybody can wear this. There is no, nothing here which is childish or nothing here which is mature. So pretty versatile age, age group wise. Seasons, again, extremely versatile. It smells a bit more floral, a bit more ambery in winter. In summer, it smells a bit more neroli ginger type. Those notes come out a bit more. I have tried and wore this in every weather. It suits that office occasion, that formal occasion beautifully. Yeah, so very, very versatile in terms of wearability. And uh, I think I've covered all aspects, haven't I? So I think marks out of 10. In my view, this fragrance, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. If it's in your armory, you'll know. You have to bring this out, you know, without thinking much. But whenever you bring this out, it's going to get you serious compliments. It's going to make you feel amazingly clean, uplifting, beautifully made. Very, very stylish. Just an awesome, awesome fragrance. So, 9 out of 10. Hope you like the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.